Sooner Scoop HD. Um, you know, in South Carolina, I was asked to, to block a lot, so I kind of I knew that's a part of a game I had to work on, and I feel like I've gotten better at that. But there's still always room to improve. But I think I'm doing doing a better job. But I learned a lot how to block and uh, run some different routes there. Austin, is this deep? Is this offense a lot different than you were in last year? Uh, yeah, it's like it's totally different. I mean, at South Carolina, we're like huddling and whatever, running pro style offense is more spread out. And uh, signal wise, we're running a lot faster, so got to get used to the tempo. So the tempo. Is... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's different than uh, than what I was used to back there. But have you found strategies for, for working on that yet, or is it just time? Uh, you know, Coach Finley talks about it a lot. Just just go hard for two weeks, and then it'll get easy. But that two weeks is gonna is gonna suck. So I'm in the middle of the two weeks now. So <laughs> what was it that made you want to come back here? Uh, I just didn't like I. I miss the whole like the culture of this place and how great this place is and when people think of Oklahoma what it stands for and you know I just wanted to get back and, and represent this university. It was obviously a different staff uh, a little bit you know, from when you were here previously. How has the, maybe the culture changed and what have you made of Brent so far? Uh, yeah, I, I, I love Coach Winnables. Um, he expects the best out of everybody and you know best is the standard and he keeps everyone to that high standard and um, you know. What are your early impressions of Coach Levy? Uh, he's super smart. Uh, he's a high energy guy, and he makes it he makes it a lot of fun, you know. And uh, like he believes in you, and he has fun with it. So you said a minute ago we were talking the, the tight end numbers are down. <laughs> you guys are going almost every rep. There's very little rest, uh, but you also said you're having fun. With yeah. All those reps. What's uh, how do you balance that? How do the coaches balance not wearing you guys out? Uh, you know, the coaches will take care of you. It's not really my job to, you know, take any plays off or anything. They'll take care of me, so I just go hard, and then when I go out, get out, I, I get out and, and, and rest. What's your guy, Josh? What? Out here, basketball player. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's doing good. He's doing real good. That's so rare, isn't it? Yeah. Not only basketball, but Division Two basketball. Mm hmm Yeah. No, he's, he's done really well. You know, he's playing basketball. He's basketball and grass. That's what uh, we play, so he's doing a good job. Joe John just kind of laid out what a, a tight end position means in this offense. It means H back, it means catching passes, blocking. Last year it meant Braden even taking some snaps. For you adjusting to that, what have you had to maybe settle into most? Um, I, throughout my career I've been asked to do a lot of stuff, so I kind of, you know, I've been given that throughout my career. So it's just kind of, you know, putting those pieces together and, you know, because we're asked to do everything, so. You learning more every day, like we talked previously about, like, Coach Riley's offense was this. Uh, this is different. You're learning things new every day about Coach Levy's offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Coach Levy's offense is, is is very different, and it's good. It's really good, and it it teaches you to learn and understand concepts, understand defenses. So it's it's really good. It's been it's been fun to learn. And what's been your impression so far of uh, the quarterbacks, especially mainly Dylan first, and then uh, Jackson? Uh, yeah, Dylan's a high energy guy. He's got a really good arm, and you know he's he's smart. He knows where to put place the ball, and so does Jackson. You can see why he was you know such a high recruit, and he's um, he's came in and he's done really well. For you, year one, you came in Oklahoma, played a couple of years, went to the SEC, obviously. I don't know if you've been asked this already. It's true, but as far as the cultural differences between the previous regime and now, can you kind of decipher what those are? Um, you know, it's just like keeping everyone to the high standard and, um, you know, expecting the best out of everybody. And that's, and that's what Coach Venables does. And, um, you know, like every, every person in this, on this field has like a role and, you know, they have to do that role for us to be successful. Is there anything you really wanted to do the first time you came back to Norman, a restaurant or somewhere you wanted to go or anything like that? I was, I was excited to get back on Jimmy Austin, the golf course. Yeah. What's your handicap? Oh, it ain't very good right now, but uh, I'm like a 10 handicap, you know, but I can get lower during when I play more, but I don't play very much. Sandbag people around here. Yeah, I know, exactly. Trying to get strokes out there. Got to. Oh, you said Sugars was the place you really wanted to go. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, that was second. They didn't ask me the second one, so it shut down. <laughs> working Can't be on back. It. We're yeah, working on no it. doubt. Sooner Scoop HD.